Good morning, everybody. It's Coffee Hall and Laughter, and it's your girl Shields. Morning, and it's Shell. You got Shells in the house, yeah. Shell is looking a little bit unsure of herself. There, I was thinking you were going to say Lena. No! <laughs> that shall not lie. One of the commandments. How dare you? <laughs> I am seven pounds lighter. Let me just put that out there now. I'll be oh, co- damn hard. Oh, congratulations. Congra- <laughs> congratulations. I don't, I don't dare me. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, I'm proud of you. I thought you was going to say Lena. Yeah, you come out with what did you say? I don't even know what I said. Yeah, but it was. I'm sure it was complimentary. Uh-huh. I need Lena. Please recognize, recognize, recognize the game. Uh, well, I just said you know <laughs> you look well. I guess. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take. At least that. I'm not saying. I'm not, at least I'm not saying you look swell. Oh, yeah. I don't want to look swell. What does that mean? You look heavy, baby. No, You're I don't want to. No, me. if I that that would be terrible. No, do you know what? No, no discrimination here. Yeah, even if somebody's lost one pound this week, I'm clapping for you. Thank you. Yeah, like how much have you lost? How many pounds? Seven in eight weeks. Come on, girl, you're doing it. Yeah, you're Thank doing you. it. Well Thank done, you. well done. Thank you. I don't Thank know how you. much I've lost, but I know that my um, endurance level is increasing. Stepping up. Um, stepping up. I, yeah, I have lost weight, but you know, I don't really weigh myself. I really go by my clothes, and to see yeah. what Zara is telling me. If Zara know, said right. to me, you need to return in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I'm like, you know what? Ah. That's what Zara is saying, yeah? All the other shops are going to say no entry. Mm. <laughs> so I don't really I don't really go for it. But it is what it is. You know what? I exercise for health purposes. And mm. um, I exercise for health purposes. And for me to feel a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, well done. When you have three kids, come back and be telling me if that's the no, reason why you're still exercising. But this is this is going this <laughs> is going in. No, but, but this is going into what's it? This is going into kind of like the topic, I think. I know. I was literally going to say that. Literally, I was yeah. going to say that. You yeah. wasn't going to say it. I thought. Yeah. Oh, okay, every day. Sure. Okay, oh. apostle. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> this is it. I just feel like, um, what, what is the topic for today? Actually, so we'll bring us in. Oh, so the topic of today is. Um, obviously we've entered the second half of the year um, so we're just kind of like kind of reviewing where we're at with our goals all the things that we set out to do at the beginning of the year but I think also looking at a focus on you know obviously certain times things don't go to plan you know sometimes we can have the best plans and then yeah. life just comes at you fast. I'm sure I'm sure I say this every week here yeah? You can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. That's it. That's it. It's like, I'm sure I say it like every other week mm. or something. Um, I like a review podcast, actually. I like a review moment where you just stop and take stock. Mm. Wait, am I rapping? Yeah, you stop, you take stock. <laughs> <laughs> you watch the clock, but you don't no, go dig it. But you don't go dig any dock. <laughs> Please stop. It is not tuned in for me. Please. Yeah, Jay-Z, holla. Thanks. <laughs> I'm ready for that record deal. Oh, but no, literally, where you stop and you just think, hey, mm. here's where I'm at. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you have a look at, you reflect and mm. you just review yourself. And I hate to say it, if you find yourself standing in the same place, yeah, is it, is, have you done enough? But then, like we say, sometimes life, you can plan x y and z and then yeah. t and s just come in and just do whatever they want so for okay, example so if t and s have come in for example yeah. before you get there to so your example yeah okay so you can plan something okay i think here's where I, where I struggle yeah with people that would write something down yeah and when you're reviewing there's no real reason to why you didn't achieve there's there always no a re- reason. There's okay. always a reason. Procrastination. Okay, so you, you want okay, to... Wanna... <laughs> that is your own laziness. No. <laughs> but there's always a reason behind. I say this all the time. I always believe there's a reason for things. Things don't just happen. You yeah. don't want it enough. I don't... That Potentially. But then I think there's okay. a reason why Basic that. example. Basic example, yeah. Mm. Right. You want to maybe get a driving licence. Yeah, oh, or you want to get provisional, whatever. Yeah, yeah. All it takes is you going to the post office, picking mm-hmm. up a form. I'm sure with, with everything that's happened with COVID, these things can now be filled out online. online. Yeah, yeah. 
and then you put that down as your goal for something in the, ne- in the next three months. We come around to three months, yeah? I'm asking you as your coach, yeah? What really stopped you from going onto www.postoffice.com, yeah? Mm. And doing the thing or walking to your local post office and getting this thing done and sending it off? You're right. I want to know. Yeah. I want to know because at the end of the day, I feel like some people use excuses there's another thing sometimes excuses are valid so for example you might say okay they just don't want it enough yeah that's why they haven't gone to the post office that's why they haven't been online however so i'm saying procrastination yeah but then what happens if but then what happens if there's a depression or what happens if there's been that's that's different because you're giving me an excuse yeah but you're giving me a real reason but it's when i'm talking to you and there's no real reason because mm. I understand depression. You can't name it. Yeah, I understand depression. It's like, you know what, yeah, I've just been overwhelmed. There are certain times when we speak, even even you know, Shell, sometimes I make plans, yeah, and I've got to now um, reschedule gotcha. those plannings. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh, you know what, I thought I would have this completed by July, but it looks like I'm going to have to push it to September. But mm. I can give you an account of why I'm pushing it back and why it hasn't worked. Do you I know what, that. What, I do you remember that. that? Remember that time when I was when I was about. I oh, can't even say this on air because my, my job <laughs> wasn't. Don't. My job didn't know that I was gonna quit. <laughs> <laughs> Not the current job that anybody yeah. wants to see, guys. <laughs> yeah, remember that situation I had a little while a while a while back. Yeah, and then the plans that I had didn't fall through. So I was mm. like, you you men's yeah. As they say in the urban society, I said I'm still going to be at the same location for another couple mm. of months. Yeah, and then when the opportunity arose to go, I went. But there's a reason why it hasn't come through. I'll be able to give you an account of what I've done, and I'll be able to say that didn't go through. But this is what I did to cover that, or this other part of the plan worked really well. But you know what? The truth of the matter is, you can prepare. A pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. That's it. But what's your backup plan? Yeah. Do you have a backup plan? Are you gonna just I don't stay know. down, or are you gonna come back up? Yeah. But as we're talking about this, as we were planning for this episode, I was thinking, ah, oh, man, I haven't done my. I'm meant to check in the tenth of every month with my planner. Yeah. What month are we in? We're in July. I don't yeah. think I checked in in June. So I last checked in in May. I checked in every month. But I think I'll be doing well with my goals that I've set. Yeah. I just haven't checked in and to written write it down. down. Yeah, yeah, I haven't done I've, that. Because you know that sometimes like some goals are just like, um, you just keep going with them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's like, and I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a keen believer in like, you know what? You set goals on different levels. Mm. You set a goal that if you reach it, you're like, whoa, I can't believe I did that. And you set goals that make you feel good. Yeah. That yeah. Give, give you encouragement and keep you going and keep you pushing. Because like I said to you, I think I've said this on the podcast before, like um, I set myself the task of running every other day. Okay. And it's kind of like, it's 30 minutes to, between 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. Now, I could go through the day at work and the day could beat me up at work. But if I've done that run, I know I've achieved something because that's my goal. It's a small goal in comparison to the other things that I have to do or have to accomplish. But to me, that's a small goal that gives me that push that I need. Like, oh, wow, you know, I've done that. Every day I might choose to, because I'm working on something, my spirituality. I wake up and I I set myself a task of maybe reading a... um, a chapter a day mm. and it sometimes reading the bible isn't the easiest thing or the most exciting no, thing it's not, man. yeah and sometimes it's like you're thinking oh an extra half an hour in bed or should i you know get up and get meditate up and yeah. or get up and read get up and meditate set my set set myself for the day but those are my daily challenges that i set to myself and once i have those things set in set in stone i'm good to go for the day you know mm. I feel like, you know what, yeah, I've worked on my spirituality, I've worked on my health and my physical, whatever. I've worked on my mental well-being because I think part of meditation, spirituality and exercising does attribute to my um, 
mental health and that being stable yeah so that's like me at the beginning of the year i said to myself okay what do i want to focus on and i thought obviously coming into the year pregnant you know life about to change with fair child i was like oh god i need to like literally look after me i know I how know, tough right? this is gonna be baggage isn't it <laughs> <laughs> it is not baggage stop saying that children are not baggage yeah guys this anybody is, come for me i dare you i will argue it out listen children's yeah. baggage they are listen, not baggage listeners yeah listen <laughs> listeners yeah please don't come for me yeah it's do just not inside, i'll do it's, it it's just the inside joke <laughs> It's a very inside but loud outside joke, Sheila. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle has a Ignore word. Michelle her. has a problem with that word. Yeah. I hate that word. How are children baggage? It's like no, no, no. Whoever says that they haven't, they don't know what love is. No, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah. All right then, let's keep going. So, at so the <laughs> beginning of the year, I said I need to look after myself because of all the children that I've now got, football team, whatever you want to call them. Um, so Can't get past you from well. me. You're overloaded. <sighs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Remember when you were younger and your mum used to fly to Africa? Yeah. And then she gets to the airport and she's overpacked. There's too much baggage. Oh, lucky. Yeah, I didn't have that experience, but yeah, I've, I've, oh, heard. <laughs> I've heard. Come on, come on. So I've heard. Me, auntie was always legit. No, go and hit me, hit me. So yeah, it was just about like what I planned to do. So to look after myself, I said, again, like you, I was, my focus was my mental health. So again, I looked at spirit, spirituality as well as the physical. So yeah. mine was just literally the bare minimum, just trying to attend church online every Sunday. Thank God I've been able to do that. And then the gym twice a week. And from when I was able to, I've been doing that. But what I'm thinking now is, do I need to like have a review and try and up it? Because I think I could happily do this for the next six months. Yeah, but I think it's the um, when we're when we're setting these these goals and this task, and I want I want mm. listeners to actually understand this year, it's the consistency yeah. in something. Yeah, because remember, you've said you you do what you do. Yeah, I only I've mentioned that I only read one chapter a day. Mm. Yeah, but it's the consistency of that action that builds my spirituality. Mm. Yeah, and other things around it. Obviously, if you know me, you know what I do. Yeah. They may not be telling everybody what I've been doing in this world. Yeah. But, <laughs> but <laughs> it's not for everyone. Yeah, those are pearls. Now, um, and the, the other thing is about my, my running, for example, is the consistency. Because remember, I've been doing this, I used to do like the 45 minutes to an hour before, but then I dropped down to 30 minutes because I couldn't maintain that. But I couldn't mm. drop right off. To be like, oh, no, 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 it's too much. Let me stop. So therefore, it's about adapting how you adapted to the struggles. You could have mm. just quit. I could have just quit and just ate, ate burgers. Mm. And Zara will be telling you one thing. Zara will be telling me the door is no. closed. Yeah, yeah. The, computer's, <laughs> the computer says no, mate. The computer says no, mate, yeah. Your card's declined here. Don't care what you You're you not have. welcome here anymore. You're not welcome here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not to say Zara doesn't do sizes. I feel like, <laughs> I feel, but anyway, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <let's do> <laughs> so controversial sometimes. Oh God, yeah. I knew where now, that was going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having to um, put, a, put 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 a stop brake on it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm not trying to drive automatic anymore. Sometimes pull up the hard brake myself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, but the, the fact of the matter is, I think sometimes it's about reviewing and thinking about your journey because everybody's journey is different i think i said this in the first quarter of the year i had said that if you find yourself in a place where you're stuck just review it again and see mm. what's gone wrong i mean this week or last week actually we we witnessed some of us that are, are tennis followers we witnessed serena williams yeah like come on she was going for her 24th grand slam and everybody knows she loves the Wimbledon, um, what's it, field or pitch, yeah, rather. Mm. And she dropped out because of the injury. Now, she had prepared, again, a pretty picnic. She's been preparing for months, years, yeah. if not months, yeah, because it wasn't she even on last year, yeah. Yeah, like a pretty picnic, but nobody predicted that that little slide was going to take her out. And you know what got me when I was watching that game, yeah, was her perseverance. Yeah, whilst she was falling and you know trying to persevere with the game, you could see she was crying. 
yeah oh, you can see that you know what yeah this wasn't her plan but some people even when their plans are going to the left they're, they're still eating burgers <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they let the people eat, but that's that's not the message we're going for, is it? <laughs> it's like there's no there's no actual like um conviction mm. in your lack of achieving what you've gone out to do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes it's like, okay, Serena could easily say, um, you know what, I'm not coming back to Wimbledon, but I know she's gonna come back. Because this is not the first game she's lost, yeah. And she's gone away and she's worked and she's come back and she's claimed her title. And I think for me, sometimes looking at people of that caliber sets the standard and it's always got a hidden message within it. Because somebody will say it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Mm -hmm. But she didn't finish on on, on top of this particular thing, particular tournament, but her mindset is a winner's mindset yeah we all know even though Serena dropped out of Wimbledon due to the injury I was thinking she's gonna come back next year and she's gonna she's just gonna smash it because Mm -hmm. it it was it wasn't even like oh she didn't even try it was like that she set such a standard for herself for what people think of her and her own perception of self that even when she fails she still wins yeah there's right. something about her and I don't watch tennis I don't care about tennis yeah like, it's not a sport I'm into at all but there is yeah. something so captivating about her and her just being literally the best at, at what, what she, she does, does and how she does it you it's know like, and it's yeah. just um, yeah there's something about her because some people carry the spirit of excellence yeah that's yeah. it So some people carry the spirit, the spirit mm. of mediocreness yeah some people just don't carry even the spirit Wow. Okay. Just <laughs> the truth, though, babes. Yeah. Some people don't have the passion they have. You know, like for success, and it's not even just about being successful with things of money. It's not just that. It's whatever you want to be successful in. It could be you want to be successful in your marriage. You want to be successful in your family. You want to be successful in your friendships. Some people don't have that spirit of excellence running through. Do you know, I wouldn't call it excellent, but I think one of the things I've been, literally the word of the year that's come to me, has just been about being intentional. With everything mm. you do, you have True. to be intentional. True. So to be intentional, you need to think and you need to plan. Don't think, don't just think that things are going to happen. Mm. So I've tried to literally be intentional with all of the things I feel are important to me. So my, my relationship with my daughter, um, mm. my husband, like the work I'm trying to do, even like this podcast, like the things mm. that I really care about and that I want to succeed, I need yeah. to plan for. Don't just yeah. think things are just going to happen. You're just going to just yeah. going to coast, and things are just going to fall on your lap or just come to you. So, yeah, I think I definitely agree with that. That's actually the right word. Like be mm-hmm. intentional. But if that's your word for the year, for me, it's just been affirmations. Mm. Yeah, be very clear on what you want. Affirm yeah. yourself every day. Like you know, I think we said it before. It's like um, start to see who you're becoming and start to speak into who you're becoming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've got this thing that I've been saying with, to people: sit with your vision, sit with your with your plan, sit with it so it becomes so alive to you that when you wake up, you think about it. When you have a little toilet break, yeah, that's what you think about. When you're out of the cotton field for a break, yeah, you're free. Stop saying that. <laughs> I hate that phrase. <laughs> this girl, if you get cancelled, please don't don't take me with her, yeah? When they cancel you. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> you are too serious, oh, God. yeah? Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, serious, yeah. Shout out to my homegirl who knows about that field here yeah, because we'll be we'll be in there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. Yeah, if you're working like a Hebrew slave, yeah, <laughs> and you get given a break. That's another one. Yeah. The Christians will come for you, Sheila. Mummy they, Rose, they, know, they, they know they know about redemption. They know about redemption. They're all right. Yeah. Oh God. They're not. They're redeemed. They're all right. Yeah, but no, oh. literally, yeah. When you take a break and you think, okay, this is what... You just affirm yourself. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like, 
and you remember know, it's yeah. about the power of the tongue yeah, you know affirmations change yeah because because one week yeah you could be struggling with different emotions yeah so mm. find affirmations that help you with whatever you're struggling with yeah if you feel like it's the exercise route find something that talks about i'm um, the, the challenge is me yeah i'm in competition with myself nobody else Absolutely. yeah because there's there's the, the things that I, i i actually have to get my mind into because when i was pushing myself for seven weeks ago i said i think i'm on my sixth week yeah i said i was gonna run one day then the next day go to the gym then run again basically it was going to be back and forth back and forth and the minimum exercise i could do a day was 30 minutes 45 to 30 minutes as minimum yeah mm. so when uh, we, we normally um, those of us who have like these apple watches i have a group that i belong to yeah the apple watch crew um my yes Rachel is a new group yeah um i have a group that I, <laughs> yeah, I have a group that i belong to and we normally compete with each other in there mm. but i declined like two competitors and i was just like no the competition is not with anybody else it's with myself yeah because because every day i look because i've got to overcome my mind and my barriers in my own mind that's it yeah. because when i've got no one running that race against me who am i running it against it's me mm. so my mindset starts to change because and, now the commitment yeah. is to self yeah yeah you're right and that's what i say like the, the gym i go to it, it's all about like heart rate monitoring and it's yeah. often like everyone's like competing on a screen against each other to get in the certain zone and i used to like like think okay i've got to get there i've got to see that person i've got to be there but in my yeah. head i was just like listen has any of these people had free kids like how many exactly. months ago like why exactly. are you like literally your situation is not their situation relax exactly. stay in your lane just exactly. do you just do you i think the um, i i find that the most important thing is yeah you build on it day by day mm. yeah work on whatever you're working on day by day yeah because if you ignore it and you leave it that's where the problem yeah. becomes that's where the problem becomes like um it becomes embedded and then you start to fall back from your plan you start to fall back from what you thought and even if you fall back one day two days wake up and just go again mm. there's, no go harm. There's, there's no harm literally there's no harm There's, there's no right or wrong way and i know sometimes i might sound like oh yeah yeah come on you're not good enough you're or whatever basher. uh i'm an encourager <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what would you say listen in this world you need people like joe jackson in this world <laughs> who the hell is joe jackson sorry <laughs> he sounds like someone that beat someone you know just say he sounds like he beat someone <laughs> don't need joe jackson how dare you <laughs> Well, this is this is this say Ike Turner. Oh my god. He literally sounds like he beat someone. I honestly did not know who it was. So he told me Michael Jackson the, the abuse of him hell. What are you talking all right. about? Oh, 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 whatever yeah. You know, you know, yeah, pick sense from my nonsense, yeah. You know oh what god. I mean, yeah. You you can't say that, you know, you're a bastard, but look here, yeah, I tell you what the truth is. And the fact okay. of the matter is, yeah. If you don't want people to tell you the truth, yeah, start telling yourself the truth. Ha, this is where me and you, this is the conversation we were having in the group a couple of weeks ago. Like, if we you won't go want... into it today. I don't even know what it is. I can't we we'll have so many conversations. Where you want me to tell truth. people certain things and then you're telling me that I have to tell them, but I don't even have to tell them because I feel it's not my business to tell them. You have to, you have to, you have to. I don't have to do anything. You have to. <laughs> As my friends on the islands will say, you have to be here. But no, I just feel like, no, the thing is, yeah, if you don't like people telling you what the truth is, yeah, if you're mm. a person that you're, you're gentle, mm, that's really the word gentle. <laughs> Even you struggled to say that word. Come on, Joe. Come on, tell what, us. What, I struggled to say gentle. <laughs> if you're a gentle soul, yeah, as the people like to say, yeah, and you don't let people telling you what's up yeah you've got to learn to speak the truth to yourself yeah 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 and say look yeah this head needs to come out or <laughs> this head and <laughs> <laughs> yeah this this oh, trailer God. needs an upgrade or this this jacket I've worn it oh, for too long yeah. I don't know what the situation is I'm trying to make it light because if I go deep 
people are gonna say. Don't go deep. Uh, don't go deep. They'll people, cancel you. People are, gonna, people are gonna say. I'm gonna have to be singing a Nicki Minaj song. Yeah, can me. Yeah. So they say I'm the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. But the you truth are. Is, no, I'm not. Yeah. I just tell it the truth. Yeah. But the thing is, what I've realised is people don't like the truth. Yeah. People like the truth. But can it not be said in a nice way? I think I do with speak cream, the truth. With cream, with cream and butter. Yes, and whipped cream. Yep, and sprinkles and a flake. Yeah, you can't so, okay, be giving so people the truth. Let me tell you something. With, yeah. a, 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 with some coal. Yeah? Sometimes people don't yeah, like that. S- sometimes some people just need need the truth with just water because you know all that cake, all that sprinkling is just making them fat for no reason. Hmm. Okay, I do like that analogy, but still. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're pumping somebody up. Yeah. To kill them. It's funny. I think I like the hard truth. I always say, listen, just tell me the truth. But like, just, I don't mind. You don't need to sugarcoat it for me. Because you was made from the hard... You're from the school of the hard knocks. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. I don't mind it. But I also acknowledge, actually, I can't speak to people the way that I speak to myself or the way mm. that I don't mm. mind being spoken to. Mm. Because, and it's, I don't, it's not about weakness and strengths. Yeah. But it's just about people's temperament. Yeah, I get that. You've got to read into that because, yeah. Cheryl, you know me well, yeah? Like, I talk all this talk. But when it comes to dealing with people on a personal yeah, level... Yeah, you're the one that always tells me. You're like, Michelle, yeah. wind it down. I'm like, Michelle, yeah. don't do that, yeah? Like, I, I know where people are coming from mm. most times. I'm quite relational to a lot of people. Um, and I can talk to people and meet so them where they're So is it only just at. me that you'll be slapping about then, basically? Is that what you're trying to because say? Because I know you're from the school of the hard knocks. <laughs> and when you're doing stupid <laughs> things, I'll be like, listen, can you get your head out of that cloud? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I want you to that... treat me better. That's what I want. Yeah. You what? From now, treat you me better. You want me to treat you okay. like a hater? Okay, I got you. Better. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Better. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Better. Yeah. Vera, I got you. I got you. No, but okay, for that particular incident, yeah, just to give give listeners the context, yeah, what I was asking Michelle to do was approach a situation that has been going around for years, yeah, and at the end of the day, Michelle's the only person that could because she's the only person that's close enough to approach that. And I said to Michelle, if I was close to that person, I would be saying, listen, sis, you need to check yourself because A, B, C, D, three, you know, I would have been going through the alphabet Say to them, this is what's happened. It's been sugar-coated for you. It's time okay. to make a change. So we're taking it to the court of life. I feel that you've already just taken it there. Yeah? So listen. Please, 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 listen. We're talking about, about Serena you. Williams, but here we go. Yes, yeah. court of life now. Yeah. So, question. First of all, I don't want everyone to know what the court of life is. But let's we're go. There. <laughs> we're let's there. Go. <laughs> we're don't you speak to me on the regular. I know what <laughs> the court of life is. The court is. of life is. And um, I will explain what the court of life is another time. Okay. <laughs> but we're so in the arena now. Do people honestly feel, yeah, that actually, that everything that needs to be said, do, do people feel that just because you see something going on with a friend, mm-hmm. that you have to tell them, that you have to bring it up? No, listen, let me take it, let me take it properly, yeah. Guys, yeah, if you have a friend, yeah, that constantly has the same issues and the mental health is worsening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they they don't see themselves as a problem, but see everybody else as a problem. And everybody is fleeing. Yeah. Fleeing like people are fleeing Baghdad, yeah. People are going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're there. Oh god. Michelle, you're the f- and then you're seeing oh, what's god. happening. And you've got the remedy, yeah? Are I don't have the say- remedy. I don't have the remedy. No, no, but you have the common sense, Michelle. In this case, you do have the... You, you have I can wisdom. see it. I can see the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you step your friend to the side and say, listen, look, guys, yeah, even a better analogy, more- yeah? A b- better an- analogy. You've got a friend that's a bit smelly. Mm. Okay. Yeah? And you think to yourself, right, everybody's moaning about this person. That's even hard to talk about hygiene with people, yeah? It is. Every, it is. Everybody's, you're, you're a manager. You've had to have those conversations with people. Not like, about smell. Oh, well, lucky you I've then. not, I've yeah. not had them. Some managers had to have the conversations, you know, when the team was complaining that, look, yeah, oh this sister, God. like, the jacket smells of too much fish. We can't take oh, it. God. Yeah. And then, you know, words had to be had. Or this person smells dirty. Yeah. But imagine 
Everybody's fleeing from you, fleeing, fleeing, fleeing from you. And somebody, one of your close friends, yeah, can sit down and say to you, listen, um, I just want you to understand that. I know you're not in the wrong. I know you're going through things, but I've been watching this. And from my perspective, yeah, mm. these areas can need, need improvement. Yeah. And here's an example of what? Because the person respects you. You're in a position the of respect. Sensitive. The person is sensitive. And yeah, but maybe you just yeah, don't we're all want to be happy with these you're not sensitive yeah. i am sensitive you're yeah. not sensitive I, I, I cry oh look at the way you say it you just say it with a laugh come on what, finish the, the laughter what the, this is coffee come on, let it out. yeah but i, I, I cry. cry i cry yeah i should have said so get out of here of <laughs> yeah get out of here no but i i cry i could be like well no i i i, I I'm sentimental, I guess, yeah, if you want to call it that. But the truth of the matter is, I would be able to say to that person, if I was close to them and things had got to the level that they are now, I'll be saying, listen, sis, you need to actually check yourself a little bit before you break yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's the word. That's it. But if you're not telling your friend what's up, how are you helping them? So coming into the new season, guys, yeah, if if you know, because everybody knows themselves, I don't care what anyone says, yeah? People mm. know their bad habits and their good habits, yeah? It's Even about as... whether they want to address them. Exactly. Even when you say, like, um, so you know you speak to some people, people will say to you, oh, I procrastinate. Or, mm. you know, I lose focus quickly, yeah? For if you're doing a review of what you've lost focus of, yeah, you might want to say, what can I do differently not to lose focus? Mm. Do I have to set shorter time scales? For myself, yeah. Do I have to work longer? Do you know what I mean, yeah? Mm. Or do I do everything in one in one go and say at least that's done? I, I honestly, I know this sounds like really crazy, but I honestly think sometimes it's how badly you want it, yeah. Yeah, it's, massively. It's because it's, yeah. it's, it's the easiest thing to do is quit. Yeah. And that's the honest truth. The easiest thing to do is quit. Quitting, quitting is easy. Yeah. The hardest thing is getting up every day. I'm going for your goal, going mm. for your vision, going for what you consider that's going to make you free. Putting yourself out there. Exactly. Literally, just putting yourself yeah. out there. If you're listening and you was looking for a job at the beginning of the year and you gave up because somebody didn't respond to your CV or the particular shop that you went for didn't respond to your CV, get back out there again. Yeah. You're yeah. literally never going to find a job just sitting there. Yeah. You, do you know what I mean? Get back out again. Bitcoin drops, so it's time to go and get a real job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no offence to the Bitcoin followers or whatever, because it will it. rise again. Yeah. But it's kind of like you've got to be able to just think, this hasn't worked out. How can I make it better? What just, next? What next? Just go back to your plan of action. Like Serena Williams, I'm sure she didn't go home and think, well, that's my career over. No way. Yeah. She had to go back. She's gone back. I'm sure she's training again. That physio is doing what the video is doing. Yeah. They're asking questions of what happened? Where did it go wrong? How come you slid? Obviously, it was raining. Duh. Rocket science. Yeah. Mm. But it's just that those questions are there. And everybody that we admire or we look at, whether it's on a big scale or on a day-to-day living scale, yeah, they've had to fail a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they say the cycle of change. Have you heard of the cycle of change? Go for it. So, like, it's like a theory about how um, we used to use it with like addiction. So, mm. it's about like how people get over like drugs, how they overcome addictions, but even any form of change. So, there's um, there's like a couple of different stages of the cycle, but one mm. of them is relapsing. Um, it's yeah. like contemplation, pre-contemplation, um, going ahead with it, relapsing. Then everything, and then they say, I think there's like seven times you need to get on the cycle yeah. before you it's actually successful. make that change. Yeah. So you, oh. each time you get closer to the goal, but there's yeah. going to be a couple of times where you um, you think about doing it, and then actually you think about doing it, then you do it. You think about doing it, you do it, you fail, yeah. you give up. You think about doing it, you fail, you give up, but then actually you start back again. So yeah, the cycle of change is. Um, something to bear in mind yeah i think definitely that will be um outlined more on the pod on the um, mm, podcast blogs. blog post and then you guys can actually read about it and see where it fits into your life in that sense 
and that's kind of like um that thing that they say for habits to break or to change yeah. if you yeah. do something six six times over on the seventh time it's kind of like it becomes habit it becomes ingrained it yeah. comes ingrained yeah like if if you you know it, it works with relationships as well like if you take if you repeat your whatever trying to get over somebody take about seven weeks it's not guys please it's not full gospel so don't now <laughs> come back to me after seven weeks i'm week chills. seven and i still love yeah, him i'm still week seven and i'm still falling in love yeah i'm leona lewis i'm leading love yeah <laughs> just just go to babalawo yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was joking i was joking guys yeah. oh, i was joking yeah that one somebody has bewitched you <laughs> Mm. no but like like you know it's just you've got to keep trying mm. you don't keep you don't try and then you stop you know, Aliyah told us first you don't succeed oh dust yourself God, off okay. and try again <laughs> you know queen <laughs> of the songs you are idiot yeah. babe some of my listeners like music and that's what they refer to so okay. I've got to be able to cover them yeah? <laughs> some of them are theorists so you've covered the theorists I've covered okay. the sports okay. people all yeah. round podcast that's what we right. are this is what we are all and I think what what I would say is as well, yeah, and um, because obviously we're doing a little review of what is working and what isn't working or what mm. has worked, yeah. Like um, I'm gonna go back to a no brainer, yeah. And I say this, we say this all the time here. The company you keep. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. The company you keep because if you've got people around you that are now saying you said you was gonna lose the weight in March, it's now oh, July God. and you continue to grow. <laughs> <laughs> you reverse. You're no longer losing. You're like gaining. Yeah, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or you said you said people that take you back to or don't push you forward because you know what you can have that person that says you know what you did say you were going to do that but it's how they say it. It's how and it's about being held accountable. So it's not even about like just like telling and trying to badge you up or embarrass yeah. you. But it's about actually holding you accountable for your yeah. own benefit. Yeah. It's like. A person that cares about you and your well-being, yeah, mm. identify those people, yeah, and yeah. keep those people close, I tell you, yeah, because you know what, there are moments where I feel like, oh, I can't do this anymore, or mm. <laughs> guys, it's literally like, work, this, that, whatever, whatever, but there are people around me that know my core values, yeah, that it's like, shows, keep it moving, yeah. shows, today rest for two days okay cool but tomorrow get back, up. Yeah. get back on it yeah because you know what your plan is you know what your your end goal, you, your end goal is you knew what you set in place but it's when people are like oh don't worry about it i didn't complete mine as well that's Mm-mm. the problem you don't you call them don't call them enemy of progress and yeah? eps yeah eps, EPs don't have yeah. your enemies of progress don't identify have... them and eliminate them identify them eliminate them yeah those people that hold you back Mm. on a slide yeah or even blatantly yeah when dan tries to like take me out for all these indian meals knowing that i'm trying to lose weight i'm like listen stop being enemy of progress stop you it you can go once a week though babes be, be romantic you could try and do one week twice a week i can be romantic but not like that okay you be romantic a little bit babes and you know have the onion bhaji i hate onion <laughs> <laughs> literally i hate them <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, what's it? Remember Sandy from EastEnders? Yes. What about Sandy? They used to have a, it, <laughs> I didn't say I had a problem. I'm just trying to relate to you, the things you watch. Yeah. <laughs> so defensive, man. You should put this on your list, yeah, of a things to improve. Oh, Don't get be out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Honestly, but I honestly think for me, it's like going forward and continuing in that same spirit you're looking at people around you who hold you accountable mm. and people that speak speak life into your situation yeah the power <laughs> of the tongue forget them debbie downers you know ah oh, negative nancy's oh yeah uh, but no, no offense no, no offense i've got my i've got my nancy in my world I know, right? not, not that you're negative nancy. Yeah. <laughs> we always said we, we negative nequisha yeah. I was yeah. going to say negative Nicole's. Nope, sorry, you can't say yeah. that. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you've got those people that are just always not yeah, Debbie moving. Downers. Yeah. Debbie Downers. Or people that... Just sometimes, yeah. You know, 
you, you're in a boat, yeah, and you've got dead weight. If you don't mm. get rid of this, some of this stuff, your boat's going to go under. That's it. Identify yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, you're the boat, yeah, and you're going to drown. Yeah, your boat's going to go under if you don't take out I'm not drowning things. in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, you know what I mean, Michelle, yeah? You're so I'm annoying sometimes. Going, sorry. Yeah. The power of the it, tongue. I'm not boating. I'm not drowning. You know what I mean? Sometimes, Michelle... The Nigerian in me, you. let me live, man. I just want to punch you sometimes, yeah? But we don't, we don't promote abuse on this podcast, yeah? But literally, literally, you're in this boat. You need to get things out. And sometimes, it's self-doubt. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes it's procrastination. Sometimes it's bad friends. Sometimes yeah. it's um, toxic Negative energy. Yeah. Toxic relationships. Yeah. Yeah. That keep you on the same roundabout, and then now you've yeah. been in this sea with this thing for so long. If the shark comes, it's just gonna eat you. Mm. Yeah. Things so you could that have just... been in sunny Barbados, living it up. Exactly. Yeah. You're in the boat with dead weight. You're weight. in the boat with dead just, weight. Just yeah. floating. Someone could have put you on a yacht. Mm. <laughs> but in now a you're in a bikini. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Now you're just drowning in that one piece. <laughs> I love a one piece. Leave my one piece alone. Man. Yeah, but you know why you love it though, isn't it? Because it's hiding a multitude of sin. But <laughs> how dare you? Someone Michelle. come and collect your friend. Someone come and collect her. Someone come and collect her, please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Michelle, but I'm talking about the same thing though. I'm also hiding a lot of sin as well. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Guys, honestly, yeah. like I can't even begin to stress out so, so many things. But mm. you've got two people. In, you've got two people in life, yeah. You've got you've got somebody with an attitude, yeah, that is of perseverance, and you've got somebody yeah. with an attitude of just giving up and laying low. I think you've mm. got to put priority to where you want to. Um. For me, what's ringing a bell in this podcast is you've got to want it enough. That's yeah. It. yeah. Like I, I say to a lot of people, I can't want this more for you than you want it for yourself. More for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to want it enough. You know, I've seen people that battle away, that go through things, yeah, and they just want it. And it's like, wow, you're going to actually come back. I promise you, this I've been working out on and off. Like I've always loved sports. I like to do like um, uh, obstacle courses, like ten k runs. Like literally, I love like sports. But I've never really cared about my weight. It's all about what I look like. But I know just before I got married, they were like, "Ah, you've got to lose weight for your wedding." I am that person that could not lose weight for their wedding because I did not want it enough. I didn't care. I thought whatever wedding dress I get in, I'll fit and I'll make it work. And mm-hmm. I didn't really lose that much weight. Whereas after this child, the third child, mm. like this is the quickest I've I've never lost this much weight in my life. And but it, it's like your mind's it's because I want it bad, like it has yeah. to happen. You know, I'm yeah. there now. Yeah. Do or die. Trust me. Well, I'm not, not dying, dying, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're becoming more affluent, affluent, affluent. We affluent are, growth. we are. <laughs> but it's just like when we, you know, we, we use the um, we use Serena Williams at the beginning of um, the podcast or somewhere in the podcast, and I think for me, her attitude of how she prepares herself mentally is something else. I think you've got another guy in the papers this week, um, Ben okay. Simmons. Mm. Yeah, um, you know, he, yeah, from America. Maya Jammers is a new thing, isn't it? Mm. Um, <laughs> for those who know, don't know what new thing is, Maya Jammers is a new partner. Yeah. <laughs> just, Urban just, got clari- <laughs> just got to clarify you because sometimes we do um, let the urban side out a little bit. And it's not a thing, so, it's new thing. thing. Mm-hmm. New, is it new thing? Imagine yeah. I'm trying to be about this thug life and look at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay, Maya, Maya Jammer's a new thing. Yeah. yeah. He was in the playoffs um, a couple of weeks ago, obviously, and apparently he didn't do well. Now, he missed, he, I think he missed a really important shot. Yeah, like and he's been, all throughout the, the, the socials, he's been being slated, like, oh, how can mm. you, you know, why are you at Wimbledon watching the tennis when you should be in the gym shooting shots? Da, 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 da. And mm. you know what? Nobody knows what that, what that is doing to his mental health. Yeah. Because he might feel like I did fail, you know? But like, like we just said before, who do you have around you that can keep you on the path? Because somebody who advises him might say, 
you know what, bro? Just take a minute out, yeah? But get back on it. Um, Do you know, randomly, yeah? The yeah. football. I know we must have people that are watching the football. The England yeah. match um, last week against Croatia. Yeah. Against Sterling. He scored the first goal. He then goes scoring on, goals or tournament. Yeah, but he then goes on to make a mistake. And um, lets, oh no, it was Germany, sorry, and lets um, a German player get the ball and they're running towards goal. goal. Thank God mm. they miss. But actually, if you see a clip of Raheem, he mm. literally goes to his knees, like as the person's running with the ball towards goal. And in his yeah. mind, you can see it in his face. He's like, oh my God. Because we all know what's going to happen to him. If, if, if they had scored that goal, the media yeah. would have crucified him. But yeah. what was so beautiful to see was one of them, I don't know which England player it was, but they ran up to him after the guy missed and they picked him up. They were like, pull yourself up, like, get up. Like, you're okay, yeah. you're going to be okay. Yeah. Pull yourself yeah. up. And that's about, like, your circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, know Guys. your circle, keep your circle clean. Like, like trust me, trust me. Mm. It's so important, yeah. Like, there's no squares here. here. Trust me. Keep... <laughs> Keep, <laughs> keep your circle clean. Keep your circle, keep your circle clean, and your mental health will be clean. I was going to say there's no rhyme for that. I was, where's this going? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was hoping that you just get there, but I think um, you know, in, in just reviewing things, you're not at a bad place, but you you know, you if you find yourself and you think to yourself, well, I haven't done what I haven't, what I planned out to do. You know what, you've got another six months or whatever That's or whatever it. the period yeah. is, yeah. You've got another six months and you know what, you can make good of it. Yeah. It's I never too late to start never, again. Yeah, it's never too Ever. late to start again. I think um what my quotation was today, altitude your attitude determines the altitude you reach. Mm. So basic English, <laughs> Michelle translate. <laughs> your attitude so but it's it's how you're looking at things determines yeah. on how far you'll go. I think yeah. just to add on to that, that mm. everybody stay in your own lane. How mm. far I might, where I might go to may not look as long or as big or as wide as how far Sheila has, gets to. Mm. Actually, I'm in my own lane. And Shilla I'm moving, got, moving And I'm steadily. moving. That's it. I'm moving yeah. steadily. Yeah. You know, our circumstances are different. You are unique. We are all unique. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's in a different position. And the battles you fight, we all fight different battles. That's but it. I think... But I think the um, the attitude has to be right for yourself. Yeah. You have to yeah. want it. And that's the basic yeah. line. You have to don't, want it. Don't be a defeated person. You know what, yeah? I just urge people on this week's podcast, yeah, to seek out people that can bring them back to life. Mm. Do you see what I mean, yeah? When I say seek out people that can bring you back to life, yeah, seek out people that remind you of who you are or, 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 or can dream big with you. Who you want to be, know your dream. People yeah. who know your dreams can see people you that, there. People that can see you, yeah. Like, at the end of the day, there are some time wasters. I tell you now, yeah. Mm. Or people that are just Debbie Downers. Some people will come onto your timeline, yeah. I don't know that it's happened to me. But will come onto your timeline and trying to say something that's negative. Block it. Block yeah. her, block her, block her, block her. Literally. Yeah. Just, just, your, your mindset is what you need, yeah. I your love attitude. that block button, you know. Anything negative, any any bad energy, I just block it on Facebook. I'm like, I'm gonna, I love it, I'm, man. Oh. I'm gonna go, on, I'm gonna go and abuse you on Instagram. See if you block me. <laughs> <laughs> Shilla, you're not beyond blocking. I tell you that for free now. Nobody is beyond right. a good block on WhatsApp. So, and you know me anyway. I tell people. Remember right, my birthday? Then, I tell people, go, block block me. Block. go block me. Go block me. Sheila, I'll block you. Let me block you. I'll do it. No problem. I'll block you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll block you tonight. But the truth of the matter is, yeah, away from the jokes, guys, we're being silly today, but mm. we're being quite serious. And I think for us, it's more like when we're reviewing things, or for me, it's like, no, there are plenty of things here on my to do list that I had, and I haven't got around to doing them. Mm. But I have solid reasons to why, yeah. Maybe one project has taken precedence over another, yeah. And I've had to shift it, but I've got to be able to be true to myself. That's it. Don't lie yeah. to yourself, yeah. Don't lie to yourself, guys, yeah. Remember a couple of things. Affirmations, yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking life into your plans. The yeah. power of the tongue. Power yeah. of the tongue. 
keeping a good circle around you, yeah? Reviewing it, whatever you need to do, and carrying it little by little, bit by bit, chip away at it, bit by bit. We look at we look at ants preparing for the winter. Yeah. yeah. When they pick up bits by bits, by the time they get to the winter, they're set. And you yeah. think, whoa, they did all of this. Have that ant mentality. Yeah. I know many of you just want the ant body, but just have the mentality <laughs> for now. <yeah. laughs> Where's the if shade you caught it, If you caught it, you caught it. If you didn't, wow. good <laughs> isn't it, yeah? <laughs> but it's kind of like, you can just keep doing, and you know what, it, there's nothing wrong with starting again. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I didn't make it. Yeah. But if you find yourself starting again and again and again and again and again, yeah, talk to somebody. Because somebody's somebody, got a gift, yeah. Yeah. Somebody might have a different way of doing things. Mm. Yeah. No man is an island. Talk to somebody. And guys, this was a quick one just to let you know that we're human too. <laughs> and we're, we're going through the same struggles. Trust me. Yeah. And, you know, we're reviewing and we're looking at the year and it's kind of like, what have I done? You know, what could I do differently? And what celebrate your wins. On? FYI, yes. celebrate your wins. If you had any. No, everyone's got a win. <laughs> Even if you're just getting up, ignore Sheila, ignore her. <laughs> See this hard turtle. You're a hard turtle next. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm joking. <laughs> no, celebrate but your right. wins. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, every step you take is actually an accomplishment. That's it. It's a step closer yeah. to where you want to be. A step where yeah. you weren't yesterday. Yeah, that's the truth. If, if that's not the truth. But if you haven't found yourself where you need to be walking to, just just, just inbox myself or Michelle. Don't yeah. inbox Sheila, please, unless you want to be abused. You've heard him. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Go on, guys. Michelle, don't spoil my market. Yeah. <laughs> you spot your own damn market. <laughs> I was just being realistic, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm telling the people that you need to look in the mirror and do what Michael Jackson did. I'm oh, standing what, with the man by, in the mirror. What bleach I'm ask, no, I'm standing with the man in the mirror and I'm asking him to change his ways. Okay. Come on. On okay. that note, we should I'm ask out. actually. Let's put a question. Go on. Tough yeah. love or or nurturing care. What do nurturing people prefer? Care. Nurturing you're, and care. You're not nurturing and caring though. You're Joe sure. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's serious. Well, at least I'm not being called like Turner, so I can take that. Yeah. No, you're Joe. You're Joe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think I'm caring, yeah, and nurturing, whatever you said. But you're definitely not. Of... Michelle, you know me personally, and you're going to say that. Yes, I am. <laughs> You can't no, threaten no. me. I'm Michelle's still a hater. Your face. I'm still talking. I'm Michelle's still a hater. You can't but shut Michelle, me down. All right. Let me put it to you again. Because yeah? you know what? We've got two minutes on this podcast, yeah? Let me put it to you again, yeah? <laughs> Don't try and make me if, hate what I'm going to say. If you was to stand before Jehovah, the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, or Nazareth, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to stand with this and say that I'm not a caring and nurturing person? In a harsh way, yes. Well, I'm not a caring and I'm not a caring and um, caring. Yes, person. okay. I'll take caring. I'll take caring. See, what you're trying to do now is say it seven times so that even I start to believe it. I'm no, not no, no, let no, you but get Michelle, there. the judgment days upon us. Caring yeah, and yes, nurturing in a harsh Joe Jackson way. You'll beat it in with your tongue. Your tongue is sharp like a seven-edged sword is that what they use that's what your tongue no, is double H actually oh, if you're going to quote there. scripture quote it right <laughs> <laughs> we all can't be apostles I'm sorry uh, yeah. no but Shell sometimes you're wrong yeah I just it takes me a very long time to actually tell somebody in a harsh manner because I would have given you plenty yeah it's, oh, come on just Shell. me then no, it's because you're a harsh person, so you think I'm the same oh as you. We're not the same. So how many times in our years of you okay, okay, yeah, okay, no, did no, I used no, to okay, say to you true. like okay, come okay, on. okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. I agree. I agree. Listeners, I agree that sometimes I just I need to but I've learned anyway, I think over the years I've definitely learned to like you, soften it, soften it. Come on, Shelby. I used to say to you, that's not, not how, how you're people right. speak. You're right. See, I'm not yeah. a liar. 
I'm not a liar. You're right. Chef. Thank you. So, guys, yeah, just to end on that note, I was being accused of a characteristic that is not to me. That's yes, not I make that's jokes. That's not where we've gone. <laughs> anyway, where guys, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue this debate another time. But just to <laughs> let you know that we're definitely, definitely here on the other line, on the other side, actually, to um, take messages. Questions. Um, questions listen even work on plans with people mm, yeah definitely yeah then work on plans with people because you know what a problem half is a pro- what's is it? a problem shared there's a problem a pro- half. yeah problem shared a problem half and i got yeah. my diary thing from you you know sure oh you did and your and your uh, is it three month review yeah three month reviews yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so i'm and yeah so and like i said that's what you know it's always good to talk i said all oh, this good to talk because I've yeah. picked up certain things from you that I've now applied to my life, which yeah. has been um, amazing. So, yeah, it's good to talk, guys. Yeah, yeah talk, to, talk to each other, but talk to the right people, please. Yeah, that's not, it. Not, every, not everybody deserves a seat at your table. Or mm-hmm. needs to listen to... Needs, you need, not everybody deserves a seat at your table. And not everybody... Not, your ear doesn't need to hear everybody. Mm-hmm. So, on that note, we are out of here to have a great Saturday. Hopefully yeah. the weather becomes something mm. that we enjoy enjoy your coffees guys enjoy yeah your take Saturday. care guys bye bye